Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a super fun one and I'm basically going to be giving you guys a bookshelf tour. This is of my bookshelves at home. I will insert a little clip at the end of my bookshelves at uni, but um, they're less exciting, they're less organised, they're less aesthetic, they're just kind of for convenience. But I'm basically going to be taking you guys through all my shelves, kind of talking about all the books I have on there, my favourites, and showing you like the way I display them. I was going to do this after I built my new bookshelves which was about like two months ago now but I thought um you kind of would have seen them then anyway and now I've got more books on there so there's like a little bit of a difference between then and now but yeah I'm basically just running you guys through it all uh when I filmed this I had like wet hair I was not feeling like being perceived so you will not see my face very much if I can avoid it um but yeah I really hope you guys do enjoy seeing my little bookshelf tour as well as my kind of TBR shelf tour as well and yeah let's just get straight into it okay so here we have the top shelf which is pretty much my romance bookshelf it's got kind of all my more favorite romance books favorite authors and kind of series kept together and like two book authors also kept together kind of up here so on this side we have my um, hardcover of it starts with us and a special edition of it ends with us i know these are a little bit controversial but i really did enjoy it ends with us when i read it and this is my little special edition so if you can see me with like my wet hair but i want to get this video filmed but um this is what she looks like she's got like nice little sprayed edges with the petals i think very pretty and yeah this one was like seven pounds or something in the works which i thought was super cheap it also has like a little quote on the hardcover in like gold foiling and stuff and yeah it's very pretty it's one of the few um Colin Hoover books that i have physically that i actually enjoy as you can tell i've got a bunch more here these were like gifts and other um ones that i didn't really enjoy too much but i still haven't really got rid of because there's more sentimental value there because they were obviously gifts um so yeah that one is just displayed because i do think she's pretty um then we've got my stack of kind of romance books i really enjoyed here we've got the two Colin Hoover's that i did like another copy of it ends with us here that you can't we see all your perfects then we've got um a few christina lauren books kind of the older covers um i've got a new cover here because i think it kind of matches better um but i've got josh and hazel's guys not dating summer equation honey don't list and the unhoneymooners then we've got it happened one summer by tessa bailey i do own it hook line and sinker it's at a different point on my shelf but i didn't really enjoy it too much to be honest so that's why they're not together and then on top we have funny you should ask which is probably one of my favorite romances that i've read this year and i think the cover's stunning um but unfortunately i just don't have enough space to display it like facing outwards then um i kind of leave this one here so it's like the right height but we have every summer after and the true love experiment by christina lauren as well um and then my three emily henry books that aren't on my favorite shelf beach read you and me on vacation and book lovers then we have the dreamland billionaire series by lauren asher which isn't a favorite but i've got all the books together so it's quite pretty then we've got two ali hazelwood books here these just are two that aren't kind of my favorites um love on the brain and loath to love you i've got two more on my favorite shelf and then towards the end over there we've got some other romances that i did enjoy the roommate eight perfect hours meet me in another life and red white and royal blue so now moving down a shelf we have my mystery thriller shelf which is probably i'd say this is like my second favorite shelf maybe i'm not too sure um it kind of is organized so obviously we've got the two hardbacks here we've got wrong place wrong time by Gillian McAllister, which i adored and daisy darker which i didn't like too much and then we've got kind of thrillers on this side, just to run through them. Rock, paper, scissors, flicker in the dark, found, silent patient, Paris apartment, hunting party, verity, the castaways, house across the lake, and murder in the family, with these two kind of being favourites. Um, and then we've got the mysterious case of the absent angels facing outwards, firstly because it's a nice cover, and secondly because I feel like this divides my mystery and thriller quite well. This side's more thriller, this side is more mystery. So then we've got The Appeal, also by Janice Hallett, my two paperback copies of The Thursday Murder Club, which will probably get moved once I fill this shelf up more, because I have all the hardbacks down here, which you can kind of see. Then Three Dahlias, Death and Croissants, they're kind of classic mysteries. We've got Notes on an Execution by Daniel Kukafka, which is kind of like mystery thriller literary type of thing and that's kind of just dividing up the mystery from the YA mystery we've got the first in the inheritance game series and the first two in the good girl's guide to murder series there and yeah i think this shelf is super pretty and now we have my favorite shelf which is my favorite shelf if that makes sense so um the shelf i think looks nicest and also holds all of my favorite books so 
Okay, first thing here, I have all my hardbacks of the Thursday Murder Club. I bought these two as they came out, and these two I just found in charity shops, which I was really pleased about because I spent like a couple of pounds on these two. Obviously bought these first hand. This one is a special edition as well, um, and it's got the sprayed edges and a little bonus chapter at the end. Then I've got my Magnolia Parks books, which are like my prized possession. You can tell how much I love these because I bought them physically after reading them for free on Kindle Unlimited, and they cost like 12 pounds each, so I spent like 50 quid on these books. The covers are just stunning, to be honest. I mean, you've probably seen all of these already, but they are absolutely gorgeous. I do like the new covers, and to be honest, like I have been tempted to just get them, but um, I do love the way that these look on my shelves. I think they're super pretty, and this one is my favorite out of the series, so hence why it's faced outwards. Then we have my Happy Place hardback, which is one of my favorite reads of the year. Um, this is Emily Henry's 2023 release, and also a special edition, you can see, by the sprayed edges. Yeah, this is the Waterstones exclusive edition with the really pretty sprayed edges. Yes, so I love her. And then here we have some more favorite romances. We've got The Love Hypothesis and Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood, as well as Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. And then we've got another favorite stack, obviously, kind of going in terms of like darkness content wise upwards. So Horror Store and Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix, both horror novels, True Crime Story, by Joseph Knox, which is a mystery thriller. If We Were Villains by N.R. Rio, which is like a mystery dark academia. The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clune, Cozy Fantasy. And Once More With Feeling by Lisa Sussman. I actually upped my rating of this to a five stars. Like I kept thinking about it after I read it and I really, really loved it. So that is on the favorite shelf. And then finally in the corner, we just have Convenience Store Woman. But I don't love my cover of this. Um, I bought it, just the cheaper one. It was literally like, 30p cheaper than the really nice cover and I was like oh it doesn't matter like I don't care then it became one of my favorite books so I might pick up another copy I'm not too sure yet and then moving down to my second to last shelf this is a newer one that you wouldn't have probably seen very much in my bookshelf organization video just because I don't really have this one padded out but this is sci-fi fantasy into horror kind of with like a little dystopian in the middle so I've got A Babel by Hour of Quan, which is a five star. I read recently and loved it. Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I've just started the series of and I'm really enjoying. Vicious by B.E. Schwab. This is a French book, but I haven't seen her recently, so I need to give that back to her. Illuminate was a super fun sci-fi YA book, and Sleeping Giants as well, another sci-fi that I read. Those are the only like true, true sci-fi, I guess. Then we kind of move into magical realism here with You've Reached Sam Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Night Bitch and Our Wives Under the Sea. Then into Dystopian with The Circle and the Ballad of the Songbirds and Snakes. And then finally ending off the Dystopian, we have the Shatterby series. This isn't the complete series. This is just what I've read so far. So hopefully before the end of the year, maybe I can fill this up with the rest of the series, having read it all. And then moving into horror, these first two are kind of like loosely horror, more like literary horror. We've got Earthlings by Sayaka Murata, which I read ages ago, but I think this cover is so cute. Then we have Bunny, The Shining by Stephen King, which I did not enjoy. Um, the Trees Grew Because I Bled There by Eric LaRocca, which is like a collection of short stories. Then we have my Grady Hendrix books, Best Friends Exorcism, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and How to Sell a Haunted House. Finally ending off with Mr. Magic at the end there. And then I'm going to do this final shelf just like by hand just because um, I can't really find a very good camera angle. So here is my final shelf. It's kind of just mess underneath so we'll ignore that. This is kind of just a mishmash of extra books to be honest. None of my kind of true favourites are down here. Um, these are just kind of additional ones that didn't fit in. So we've got some non-fiction here. Atomic Habits. Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me which is actually a graphic novel but height wise fits well here. Everything I know about love which probably was actually a favorite to be honest but i don't have much space for non-fiction milk and honey by rupee core which is a poetry collection then we move into some young adult we've got suicide notes from beautiful girls if this gets out one of us is lying we were liars and then the giver series the first three books in that series before getting to the maze runner then we've got some romances the ex hex seven husbands of evelyn hugo my policeman hook line and sinker Fletcher, the hating game dating dr dill love in the time of serial killers and stuck on you and then we kind of move into general fiction got 
the Nightingale, the Virgins of Us, and then these ones are either translated or short story collections. We've got The Woman in the Purple Skirt, Kim Jung Born 1982, Pizza Girl, Milk Blood Heat, Send Nudes, Weasels in the Attic, Idol Burning, and Yellow Face. So yeah, this is my main red bookshelf. And then I will quickly show you my TBR shelf, which is this set of books here. This is loosely organized into kind of like interest order besides some aesthetic bits. So here we've just got hardbacks because of where they fit the best. This one is a special edition as well from my Evernight subscription. Then we've like loosely got priority TBR on here. I won't go through this one in too much detail because you would have seen my unread TBR video. Then continuing down here before we get a little pile of classics. Then continue along here and these ones are just kind of like awkwardly sized and didn't fit in before the final bottom shelf and my little stack of blindly picking my TBR books that I haven't got around to yet. And then finally, we have like my excess shelves over here because I do have books that are at uni. I will want to bring those back and they can fill up here. Um, I've got my non-fiction at the top and then kind of more priority TBR here, just books I've bought more recently, etc, etc. So yeah, that is my bookshelf tour. Here is an overview of my shelves um, from top to bottom. I actually am obsessed with them. So those are my shelves at home. I will put in a little clip just overview of my shelves at uni now. Okay, so here are my bookshelves at uni. On here at the top, we just have some library books. So these ones are from like my local library. These are ones like in preparation for the Goodreads Choice Awards that potentially I won't have to read. And then these two are just ones I was interested in from my uni library. Here we have the books that I've read since being back at uni since like the 6th-ish of November. So a bit of a slow month so far. Then down here are the actual like unread books, like on my actual TBR. So kind of goes in order of when I'm planning to read them slash interest slash you know what type of videos I have them planned for because I vlog literally everything I read I think so here we have like kind of priority TBR uh, kind of here I guess here actually is the break for like this month that I want to read this one I need to read by the start of December and then these are um, mostly for a video project that I want to do and then some at the end are just ones I'm interested in. These are some like hardbacks 2023 releases as well as some non-fiction down here and then other books. Um, these are ones from my paper quest video and then down here are just kind of like additional books other ones that I'm interested in. So um, I went through most of these in my what books I'm taking to uni video but I'm just going to go through the ones that I perhaps didn't mention there. So here I've got Alice um, by Christina Henry Anxious People by Frederick Backman, um, Dream On by Angie Hotman. I've got um, This Is How You Lose a Time War by Amal El Mota and Max Gladstone, My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones, A Court Miss and Fury by Sarah J Maas, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven and here is Honey and Spice by Bolly Babalola and then here I think I've talked about all of these um, in that video besides uh, Tomorrow Tomorrow Tomorrow. I've also got Caraval here and then I've got Divine Rivals here which is like maybe my favourite cover ever and then we've got as I mentioned yet yeah, the two books from my Your Paper Quest video. My Roommate is a Vampire which is one that I'm actually very excited about. Um, the Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison, which is like a big fantasy that I haven't got around to yet and I think all of these I spoke about or maybe besides Those People Next Door by Kia Abdullah. So yeah a lot of fun reads here. Um, if you want to see any particularly do let me know because these are the ones that I have easiest access to because obviously they're at uni with me. I'm not home for Christmas until the start of December so these are going to be my collection of what I'm going to be reading over the next month or so so yeah let me know if any are on your TBR or you want me to read specifically. But yeah as you can see they're much less um, exciting than my ones at home but yeah I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did don't forget to give it a like down below, hit subscribe and turn on the bell to run a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. If you're not watching one of my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as they've linked up in the cards from earlier. So yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!